you can have. A, a piece of my love. Hold on, hold on. Don't give it to him yet. Now. Okay, Don't all give right, it to all him right, yet. all right. I need to go. Can you? Are we shared? I'm about to go ahead and, and go and share mine. Hey, while we're sharing, go ahead and share too. You know when you see us sitting in this chair, what it is, what it is, what it is. It's Wednesday. It's Hump Day. It's live with T and Q. Now I know y'all are T awfully hype. Yep, because I'm sipping a little something after not sipping something for about almost 25 days. But there's a reason why I'm sipping this today. When Q gets through sharing all of our stuff, we're going to talk about it. Show's going to be amazing, but while we're getting ourselves together, go ahead and let everybody know that we're live. Yeah, let right them know where you're Come on, go join ahead and in. Share. Join can, in, you, join can, in. can you share mine? You can do it. I don't know how. See, this, this is what I'm saying. Well, then you talk while I try to share. What's going on, everybody? Happy Shit. last day of March. We are oh, officially in the end of the first quarter of the year. Oh. So we made it, y'all. We made it. Um, we made it. Tomorrow's April 1st. Do people still celebrate April Fool's? They better not they fool with me. Shit. Don't oh. fool me. I don't have time for those April Fool's. But I think people, people still play do. That no more. You know, you get hurt these days with April Fool's. Everybody got time to be playing talking about April Fool's Day. We will, you will get jacked. Yeah, you gonna get the cut. The heck up. Are we on a uh, public on our page? It should be, right? Yeah. All right. Glad you guys are here. Glad you guys are watching. Thank you so much for tuning in every Wednesday. We are always sitting in these chairs ready to give you guys the talk, the news, and ready to give y'all a little bit of something. Song. Song. An amazing guest today is going to be no different. Every Wednesday, you can definitely count on being entertained, empowered, and you entertained. What empowered, entertained. We had three of them. Empowered, entertained, and. Influence. I don't think that was it, but that's what we're going to use inspired, today. Inspired, influenced. That's it. It's inspired, empowered, and entertained. Hey, y'all, don't this hair look good? Y'all see what I did, though? I helped her curl. When I got here, T looked like Mom's Mabley. <laughs> and I went ahead and said, T, go ahead and fire up the Clippers, baby. I mean, the... Uh, the, the right. See, that would have no. been it. I would have had absolutely no Go no ahead and fire up Ooh. the... Uh, I got you. That nigga I'm gonna ask me today, talk about, uh, you been out in the rain? <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, I ain't been nowhere. What you mean? Like, I literally had been in the house working, though, doing some things. I had literally been in the house. Having hot flashes and sweat and shit. Oh, Y'all know how people, they go, they, you know, get their hair goodness. done. The little girls be all nice and they little pressed, silky shit. <laughs> and, sh like, they go outside or start swimming or something like that. And next thing you know, they come back and their hair is like this. My that is what I experienced. It wasn't swollen. It, it wasn't was, big. It wasn't curled and it wasn't shiny. It wasn't curled. It had a little sheen to it. but It, it was still good. good, though, because, you know, how long did it take me to do my hair? Tell her. 46 minutes. And cute. That was to do my hair and makeup and change my little sneakers. Tell the truth. Be honest. You done eight since you've been here. I did uh, my hair. I listened to we six did, Freddie Jackson songs. Right, we did. While she was doing her hair. And we did the taste test. Um, If you know, I want to know, we are already sampling what you guys know will be coming out. May 22nd, which is da 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 Tasty Moscato. Tasty Moscato, you guys. I'm so stupid excited. Um, I can't wait. One, the one thing I like to do is share the stuff that I love to do with you guys. Same she thing with the candles. Drink, sniff a candle, read right, a book, right. and play in some hair. And that's what I'm sharing with you guys. Now, candles will be back. What I realized is I didn't have time to actually sit down and make all the candles myself. So I actually... Well, you got a month. Right, well, I will have some, and then I, so I will have them. And then I have somebody who has taken my recipe secretly. I go tell y'all, but and they're gonna do the processing for me, so I'm excited about it. It ain't Thank me, so God. don't be hitting me up. Trying right, to trying get to find out what the smell no, is. It ain't power sense fragrance. Exactly. It's me and somebody's under contract, and I get to kill them if they tell anybody what's in the fragrance. Oh, you can sue the shit out of them. Oh, I'm going to. They got to. NDA in there? Yeah. Okay. Mm-hmm. Ain't nobody got non disclosure. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> we ain't got time for that. So we got that coming back. So everything's gonna be back. So top it off with this good old wine, you guys. It's gonna be amazing. Again. I haven't drank in about 20, oh no, I had a sip the other day. But other than that, I haven't drank in, in a, almost 21, 22 days. Well. Toast to 
today. To dedication and to purpose. Because the only reason that she's drinking right. is because we're sampling the exactly. way she's coming out with. Right. And speaking of which, today's special guest is going to be Master Craftress. Is Craftress a word? Yeah. Master Crafter? Crafter, but because she's a tress, we're going to make her a tress? Is that Ma- right? we, yeah, we'll come up with that. So Master, Master Craftress. Craft um, Hope Foster of Signature Sips. Yes. She's responsible for a lot of stuff. Yes. So you guys will uh, hear about that later on this evening mm-hmm. when she joins mm-hmm. us. Mm-hmm. But in the meantime, what's going on in the world? Oh my God. Uh, happy Trans Day of Visibility to all the trans men and women that are out there. That's a new um, day, happy, ain't it? Um, No, I believe that it's been a day before, but it's... Today, um, President Biden actually signed the proclamation oh, recognizing nice. it as a day. So today is officially Trans Day of Visibility. So Trans Day of Visibility. So is that so? Is but that's the same as Transgender Celebration Day. I guess. Why was it so complicated? Trans Day of Visibility. I have absolutely no idea. But congratulations, Happy Trans Day of Visibility. That sounds so hard to say. But it ain't. You'll get used to it. I'm, I'm assuming. I'm going to come to Because it's going to be scrolling all up on your timeline. I'm sure. But happy Trans Day of, of Visibility, you guys. You almost, you almost, yeah. I, I, I won't. No, I won't. I, I definitely am. And was, speaking of that, so much other things is happening in governments. Such as, congratulations, New York. I heard your president just not, de- not I president. mean, your, your governor. <laughs> Not the president. The, the president is Transgender Day of Visibility. Yes, but, what but the, the governor, governor of New York was Andrew Cuomo. Yep. He just um, legalized cannabis for adult use. And, hold on, ooh, 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 the bill ooh. creates automatic expungement of previous That's marijuana convictions hard. that would now be legal. Crazy, right? Y'all, Cuomo said, leave me the F alone. Y'all talk, to me, touch, talk about me touching on girls. I wasn't doing all that. Oh, I didn't hear that. Oh, that was the big thing that's going on with him right now. Where you been? I haven't been watching the news oh. because I didn't want to catch what's been going on with George Floyd. Oh, so well, this was like a week or two ago. He's been under investigation. They've been calling for his resignation because he's been accused of inappro- inappropriately touching and making women uncomfortable. He's been saying things to them like he's single, he's looking for a girlfriend, he's touching her. You got a wife? He's looking. I'm touching their lower back. He's feeling on their ears. So he's doing different things to make them feel uncomfortable. So you just sexually harassed me like he's been doing. I did, <laughs> and you ain't doing a lawsuit. And you doing live on TV? Right, and like in our contract, it says you do what the f- I say do. And that's what it's. Please pull that piece of paper out because I ain't seen that shit. And if if it's in there, that shit? then we need to um we need to do that again. <laughs> Yeah. So yeah, that was a big thing for him. This, again, they were I'm feeling light. I know. I'm telling you, Bill Cosby. Me okay. Me Hope got listen. <laughs> no, I said you. I know, but it's because of the wine, though. Team Marie would not roofie me. Child, before they had that all, let me think. That was roofie and Q and right, you know thing. You gonna be? You I better put your website up real quick. <laughs> <laughs> so you can get them sales because your ass would be right. all over the. Blogs. I would be all over the blogs, and so so that was the thing with him and. The reason why we're feeling real good is because, as you guys know, this, or might know, I did post it, this Moscato is... 15%. By volume. I had a look, like, she gave me a shot glass when I first got in Right. And, like, after the second shot, I was a little, like, I couldn't fill it up to Mm -hmm. here. So I had to eat all that good food that she prepared to kind of soak some of that liquor up. And... So just imagine, you can have your own bottle of Tasty Moscato Man. available May 22nd. May 22nd for $22. For $22. It's going to be so, so good. Yeah, I'm so ready for that. Right. So, what else? Now that weed is legal uh, in in the state of New York, we got to go to New well, York. Well, we got to go on down south to Georgia. Okay. So, oh, no. there has been a new voting bill mm-hmm. that is, like, really pissing people off because... <laughs> It's reminding people of like those Jim Crow days, and they're oh, that's what that's they're that's, calling it, the Jim Crow Bill. So they call it SB two hundred two, and it targets black communities and voters by criminalizing actions proven to increase voter participation in Georgia. Um, Governor Brian Kemp they signed a ninety-page uh, elections bill entitled SB two hundred two. 
AKA and, Jim Colby. Right. They, it makes it mandatory for counties to publish the total number of votes cast and the mythology by 10 p.m. on election night. So just like before, how we had two and three days for them to cast right. different votes, can't do that anymore. Replace the oh. state uh, replace the state board of elections chair with the person selected by the lawmakers and not the citizens of the jurisdiction. So they can put a person in place that they want Absolutely. to count those votes. It limits access to absentee voting drop boxes, which a lot of us ended up using, right? Um, because it was more convenient for us this year, given everything that we had right with COVID. What else? Makes it a crime to provide food this and part. beverages this is to the people part. waiting in line. No, you cannot hand out water or snacks while people are waiting in line for hours. So let's just we ain't done. Yeah. Oh, increases voter ID requirements oh, for yeah. anyone using yeah. absentee ballots yeah. and decreases the time period to request an absentee ballot. Mm -hmm. So here's a couple so of things. What does that sound like to you? It definitely sounds like Jim Crow. But here's a couple of things about this bill that I can, can that I can get that I feel like that I know are no problems for us because we can do it. The ID, okay, we can do, we can do that. No, I don't, no, 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 no. The, the parts that I disagree with wholeheartedly is talking about that you can't give the people food and water outside while they're waiting because what they're going to definitely do is what they've been doing, which is why we gave people food and water was Messing hold up the, up the line. Exactly, and yeah. they do it on purpose. There's a system glitch. Always. And we're going to be experiencing that more and more. So, However, so you already know our girl. Crazy. This got our girl working Child, listen, even that's why she harder. Been quiet. That's why she's been quiet. Stacey Abrams, Absolutely. everybody knows something is about to come yeah, from this. That's why she's been quiet. And there's going to be something where she's mobilizing people more and more and mm -hmm. more over these next however many years. And guys, also remember something that we continue to tell you. Yeah, we just voted for a president last year. Um, yes, we voted for some senators, but there are local elections, state elections, city elections, Absolutely. all those governments that we have to still be a part of because these people are the people that are going to be put in place to help you with what it exactly. is you need help with moving forward. So we still have a responsibility this year, yeah. next year, and, and every crazy. year after that. They did this on purpose because they know it's time to start voting their asses out. All these all these same people that are in right now, they know it's time to start voting them out. So they're trying to make it harder. So they definitely don't want you doing anything with the local elections. Mm -mm. They're like, oh, because they're like, well, they're not going to want to go stand and do all that just for the local elections. So now we just have to become more diligent. And I feel like we've become that uh, because of what we accomplished over the last election cycle. And the thing is, we realized, we're motivated. We're motivated. the thing is, we knew we could get out there and do it, but the fact that we actually got out Absolutely. there and did it and we and and for a lot of people they felt like, you know, they finally saw results from something that mm -hmm. they did. Mm -hmm. And now that you are on a high from that, you want to feel it again so you're going to keep doing it and keep encouraging somebody else. And by the next election, by next year there's going to be more people that are legally able to right, vote. There right. are going to be more people after that, and it's going to keep going. So keep inspiring somebody. And we're going to, to vote. It. Yeah, and we're going to be good. Uh, like I said, I know Stacy is already on it, and they're taking this to the higher courts. I, I just believe that they're not going to get away with it. The thing about it is, we have to stay on top of this, and now we've become so um, oh, aware man. of what these things mean for us mm -hmm. that we are on top of it. So. Our people aren't just sitting still anymore. We realize what our power is. We realize that we do have power. And we've learned how to execute that power to get what we want. We saw the results of staying diligent. And once you get something, you want to keep on doing it. Like once you get a flat stomach, you're going to keep working out and eating right to get that flat stomach. Make sure it's flat. Or you're going to get another fat and stomach. And speaking of using what we got to get what we want, right. a lot we are already using our voices. Mm -hmm. um, there are a lot of major companies mm -hmm. out here that came out and supported Black Lives Matter a while ago. Right. Um, but they have headquarters here in Georgia. Like, what's it, Chick-fil-A, mm -hmm. um, Coca-Cola. Coca-Cola. Uh, I think uh, it's like Home Delta. Depot or something like that, Delta, and a lot of those other companies. Um, people are calling for them to make a statement. Like, what are y'all going to do um, to help change this? Right. And um, um, what were you saying earlier about what's going on with Delta? So, what Delta has put out a statement, I, I think you saw the, the uh, 
president of Delta, Ed Master, put out a Shit. statement um, saying that. Uh, let's see. Am I? Oh hell no! You know I can't. Y'all got a little minute. I ain't got, Y'all no got about six, six minutes. Find you just a paragraph or whatever. I can't even see. You should have told me. I would have. Oh, my glasses over there on the desk. Last week, the Georgia legislature passed a sweeping voting reform act that could make it harder for many Georgians, particularly those in our black and brown communities, to exercise their right to vote. Mm. Since the bill's inception, Delta joined other major Atlanta corporations to work closely with elected officials from both parties to try and remove some of the most egregious measure egregious right. measures from the bill. We had some success in some success. success. In, um, <laughs> eliminating the most suppressive tactics that some have proposed. Now look, I can read. Okay, I have no reading issues. However, this little screenshot I got, these let these words are very you have to turn small. It sideways. But here's here's the part. So Delta that was that the statement from today or However, yesterday? I make it crystal clear that the final bill is unacceptable right, and does not is. match Delta's value. Exactly. The right to vote is sacred. It's fundamental to our democracy and those rights not only need to be protected, but easily facilitated in a safe and secure manner. That's right. So with that, and um, with that statement coming out, uh, uh, the House and the Senate, the Georgia legislation, um, was not happy. They were not happy about uh, Delta putting out such a statement. And what they are proposing to do is some of the pettiest stuff that people do when you don't when they don't get their way, and that's. Uh, reduce their tax uh, breaks. Reduce their the tax breaks and the tax whatever I can't think of the words, but their tax breaks. So they're not going to get all the tax credits and all the tax breaks that they will get from the city now because they made this statement. Isn't that some of the to me? And I'm, I, maybe I shouldn't say this. I was going to say white, but that's the wrong word. Maybe is that some of the, the misuse of power? Power. Thank you. Which is like yeah. The, some of the most misuse of Power and blatant though. And this is the part I want you guys to understand. How blatant it is lets us know how they feel that they can do absolutely anything. And the wording in these in this bill actually tells you that when you say we're not gonna allow you to give food and water to people who are standing in long lines, to a regular person, that sounds like it's petty. That sounds like you're trying to discourage people from voting, but in their mind, they don't hear that. And that's because they're so used to having, doing, and getting away with what they want. But not this time. I just This time, it's, it's not going to happen. It's not going to happen. So... We all got work to do. Guess yeah. what, guys? We need to be the change that we want to see. So y'all need to get up in here. Not me personally, because I don't feel the need. But it's some politicians in the making out here. Um, we know some personally. Hey, Vince Ashton, if you're um, if you're tuned in, friend, I, let me know when you run it and let me know what you need. Oh, it's definitely some people who could run. I wish I had the... I have too much ADHD. I'm going to forget what I'm supposed to do and go. I'll, I'll have the you passion. Relate the I'm going to relate to the meetings, like all of that. You know, I'm not going to make it. So as much as I love, would love to do that, yeah, I'm not, I'm not your girl. But I go to the meetings now. I'll do that. Now I'm gonna be late, but I'll be there. You know, I'm, I'm tipping with my feet. But I'm coming up. I'll be there. But it's time for us to to continue the fight that we started exactly. in 2020. It's we and we didn't start it in 2020. It just escalated because of what was going on in the office. We got tired of everything we were seeing. But this fight started the day that we were able. And it's so unfortunate to say this. But the day that the law was passed that says we were able to fight. And that was, what, in the 1800s? Mm -hmm. The fight is still going on. And yeah. clearly, it will not stop. And unfortunately, what it's going to have to take is for the older generations of lawmakers and people that to get are out, in law to, to, get to go ahead and claim out. their place in glory. I, no, you, you yes. killed them. Yeah, claim your place in glory. They don't kill them. I didn't kill them. You killed the people. Maybe retirement is glory for them. 
What I do know is, and like you said, until they're out, it's going to be hard. I just don't understand why we allow these people to sit in office so long when you can only allow the president to be in there two terms and the mayor to be in so many terms. Why? Because you want John Legend in about, I mean, John uh, Who is Lewis. John Legend? John Lewis was in there about 30 years. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I guess we have to thank God for that, but we don't have to yeah. clear, clear, the, clear the air. Clear the air. Area. Here we go. Clear the area. Make the, the cameras clear because yeah. we gotta we gotta start writing some new futures. Yeah, boy. This, my friend, is some bullshit. Yeah, yeah, boy. Uh, do we need to talk about Quavo and Sweet yet? Nah. We can we talk, talk about, about the question of the day? Though I can go ahead and start that question. Um, I got an inbox twice uh, with the same meme, but from two different perspectives. So the first one was from a man, uh, actually. And the meme reads, if a man can pay all his bills and take care of himself, wash the dishes, cook and clean, what does he need a woman for other than sex? Okay, that was from the man. Then I get this another meme from the woman that says, if a woman can take care of all her bills and do everything on, on, on her own, what does she need a man for? And then the other one says, so like, for 50-50. Why would she go 50-50? Mm. Now that one I did see. I didn't see the other one, but I did see that one. Let me see your phone. All right, you gonna see my phone. So, guys, you know this. We're I don't know if we're gonna talk about it now because we do have a guest that's coming. But I will tell well, you. When she pop up, then, then I will tell head. you um, that these questions are really coming from a place of incompleteness. Can I say that? It's coming from a place of incompleteness. If you feel like that a woman or a man is only good for protecting and serving or cooking and cleaning, then you're already not ready for a relationship. Those are things that we do naturally. Men protect and, and, and take care and cover naturally. Women nurture and take care of their homes and stuff naturally. A man is naturally a husband. A woman is naturally a wife. We were created to be that. But when you start talking about if he can't do A, B, C, X, Y, Z, what do we need him for? We are obviously talking about having relationships, relationships strictly for the point of having someone to fulfill chores uh -huh. or fulfill things to do. We're not talking about companionship. We're not talking about doing life partnership together. We're not talking about doing... Uh, you know, creating children's, creating legacies. We're not talking about doing anything that goes beyond some type of service. And that's not what relationships, marriage was built for. Yes, I do believe they were built for uh, to do things together, to create together, to make a community, but not for acts of service. Like, I need you to just come and pay bills, do this, do that. You don't think that that marriage or commitments of some sort have some sort of like business agreement I situation believe, in them? I do believe that. But I don't believe that's all they are for. Okay. The, the business agreement is so that things can run smoothly. That's so you can have order. If that's the case, you can get anybody to come in and do those things. That's so you can have order. If you talk about cooking, cleaning, Make sure the bills are paid or whatever. That's to have order. That's so things will move correctly. That's so things will be smooth. You got to have those things so that you have order in the household. But when you start talking about that's all you need, no, because you need companionship too. You need compatibility too. You need to make memories too. You need to, there's things that you have to do. There's actually mental health things that a great partnership brings to you. There's happiness that it brings to you. There's fulfillment that it brings to you. There's purpose that it brings to you. There's things that having a partner or the right partner does that's way beyond cooking and cleaning, serving and paying bills. So, okay. So, pretty much what you're kind of sort of saying is those gender roles that have been established for generations in relationships... Like, ha those statements are kind of doing what to those? Well, I don't know if they're... Um, because if, if, you're, if you're a man that can cook, clean, and do all of this stuff, then you don't need a woman. And if you're a woman that can pay the bills, then you don't need a man. Mm -hmm. I, don't, I don't think... I don't, okay, 
like I'm a gender role girl. I'm a, I'm a, I am a gender role girl, but I don't believe that everything stops at those. I believe they absolutely blend. And I'm a gender role girl because I believe roles, whatever, however they are, they keep order. Well, we got to understand order is important in or, in for things to run smoothly, okay? So as long, when you know what you're supposed to do, your part, and you're doing your part, and you know and there's no confusion, then that helps the household run smoothly. Um, but what I do think is that it becomes very selfish when you're looking for somebody to do those things. Because to be honest, that's stuff that you need to learn how to do in your single stage. You need to know how to do those anyway before you even come into a marriage. You don't even come into a marriage waiting for somebody to pay your bills and do all this other stuff to cook your food. So should, you that should be, be a doing requirement that? in a relationship? If you are a man that is seeking a woman, mm -hmm. then you should feel like that woman should come into the situation she has to cook, she has to clean, she has to do this. And if you're a woman who um, is coming into a situation, your requirement is for the man to pay the bills and do all this other stuff. Do I think that it should be that way? Mm -hmm. No, I don't I don't think that that's... What do you think about for homosexual relationships? No, okay, we can talk about that because we can talk about roles, period. Okay? <laughs> that's, that's, let's talk about that. Okay. We can talk about roles because at the end of the day, um, from what I've been told, and I can be corrected, there, there's always a feminine role and a masculine role in every relationship. And that's also in homosexual relationships. Is that correct? Yes. There's always a feminine energy and a masculine energy. So instead of talking about woman, man, let's talk about feminine energy and masculine energy. They have to, two masculine energies can't mesh. So even if it's two guys, you never see two masculine guys together. And you yes, never, you do. Do you? Yes. Just the fuck up. Somebody. <laughs> oh, I mean, they, they keep it together in public, but there are things going on behind the door that we may not know, but in public, it's a masculine, masculine. I don't believe it. So, <laughs> somebody tell me that. Because I mean, just like in, in uh, like a lesbian relationship, I've seen two I've never two feminine. Studs. Oh, yes. But oh, no, never yeah, two studs. studs. Oh, right. no, that's so, so, okay, so let's kind of put it like this. I feel, I don't think two hard masculine energies Mix. I don't know why. Because they'll bump heads. Because they bump heads. And even when it's too softer, that shit breaks up too because they're both too masculine and a feminine energy that makes a successful relationship. Now, speaking of creating successful relationships, we are going to pause this real quick. Pause the call. We're about to talk to our girl, the, the craftstress herself, Miss Hope Foster of Signature Sips. Oh, okay. Bring on, boo. <sighs> Where is Hope? We Damn, I can't, I can't tell you. Ain't no more, I'm, right? Because I'm done. Hope, where you at? Where you at? Hi, I'm here. I'm here. Hey. Hey. hey, guys. How, How are, are you? you? I'm doing great. I was loving the conversation you guys are having. Can you see me? I yes, see. we can see you. <laughs> oh, there you oh, go. Yes, yes, there, there it is. <laughs> you looking real, real cute now. Thank you. Thank she looked like she just closed another deal or something. Okay. Oh, no. <laughs> That's money look. Yeah. Yeah. That's that yeah. That, that, that cash up ding ding look this came. Hey. <laughs> yes. Yes. Hi it. guys. How's How everything? How have you been? I've been wonderful. You know, despite of everything's going on in the world, mm -hmm. I have really been blessed. So I am thankful for that. How about you guys? We've been good, and you know what? We are really good because we're, we're on the corner. That those little tapes that you said, yeah, I had to save it. I'm done. Yeah, we're it's it's good, you, good, 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 good. Yes, we. I love wait. to hear it. I love to hear it. Thank you guys. No, thank you. Now look, you were saying that you know because everything that we've been experiencing, you know, things have changed. Now, one thing I do know is people have still been drinking. Okay. So has More. business changed for <laughs> Signature Sips since the pandemic started? Absolutely. Um, business have actually increased. Yeah. Um, the beverage business is booming. And I'm thankful to be in the beverage business. Um, so, yes, things have rapidly increased since the pandemic. Because people are drinking. I mean, we're trying to find a way to sustain being with each other all day long and our kids. You got to drink to do that. You know, <laughs> well, you know, I, I 
can say this, um, it's been a blessing for a lot of people in the beverage industry because it has opened doors for people um, profit-wise mm -hmm. to make money during the pandemic. So it has actually been a help to some people that may have lost their jobs or, you know, maybe laid off or something like that. Yeah. So the beverage industry has came through. Okay. And so let's rewind a little bit. So for the people who aren't familiar with Hope Foster and Signature Sips, tell us about you and how Signature Sips became, how Signature Sips came to be. I started 13 years ago. <laughs> Long time, and I'm not going to keep it up because you might guess my age. <laughs> So, yeah, been around a long time, and um, we started off as a mobile uh, bar service, uh, and we still do here and there, you know, our, our special clients that we've been having for long, many, many years. So, um, we started off there. Now, we've been crafting for seven years, mm -hmm. just crafting um, other people's beverage, and of course, we have our own beverage line, which is the Stop Wine and Mojitos and the Zodiac Sips. Mm -hmm. Oh, is it one for each zodiac? Yes, ma'am. Oh, I'm gonna need to go ahead and order some of that Gemini. I didn't know that. I'm working on the Aries because you know it's their season. Yes, yeah, it is their season. So yeah, we're working on some things for uh the Aries and the Tauruses. Oh yeah, I gotta oh, give yeah, me that so Gemini. I, I gotta give you are a Gemini. I am a Gemini. You are a Gemini. Mm -hmm. Hell. Hey. Oh, okay. oh sorry, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we, <laughs> yes. so as far as the crafting goes can you explain that a little bit like exactly what does the crafting mean and you know crafting is a formula that you have to you mix it together it's a talent actually it's a gift for me um because i'm not a big drinker um so what i do i try to put my clients thoughts in a bottle you know, what they like, what they expect, mm -hmm. you know, um, to have the perfect brand just for them. So we like to customize it and make it signature. Um, and we have a lot of different flavors. We um, have gluten-free flavors. We have vegan flavors, sugar-free flavors. So we have so many flavors to work with. I mean, I really enjoy what I do. With everything being, with so, having so many clients, how do you find signature dishes, I mean, drinks for them, like, I mean, really, because for me, it literally, the one that I chose literally fits who I am. You know, <laughs> see, Marie, <laughs> I, I, I'm not really trying to break, but I hardly ever miss. Because I listen to my <laughs> I listen to my clients, and I listen, and I hear them, and I guess I just go off of what they want and what we've spoke about and I just try and go direct to the point you know from there so I hardly ever miss you know I, I like to thank God for that you should because you did you definitely did not you really bought my taste my vision everything to pass I can't say fruition because this might be a hard word to say while I'm drinking but you well, bought you it did, I, I heard you said it a little low but you said it I, I, I say, but you really okay. bought everything I was looking for you bought it to pass. You did. I appreciate that. I think that you're going to have a wonderful product. I don't know if we could talk about it right now because I don't know how your marketing strategy is. But well, I I've already put it out. They, everybody knows it's coming. They know oh, it's right. May 22nd. They know they're trying to get ready to come for the launch. And people are wanting their bottles. So, yeah, you can give it a little, little extra whatever. <laughs> proud of your product because one is very unique um your product is unique and i think that it's going to be very diverse um and like i tell people all the time i try to be so straightforward that every brand is not going to work because everything every type of concoction and flavor does not mesh well even though people mm -hmm. like it we want to be appealing to everyone as much as you can you know so you can get the of course the funding and the customers purchasing and and that type mm -hmm. of thing going on so i think that your brand is going to do really well i'm excited about it so 
this is the last day of what is it international women's month mm -hmm. and you know you being a woman in business how have you i guess gotten your level of success like what issues have you had to overcome to get to where you are today whoa a lot um and I can pinpoint maybe one or two. Um, and I don't really consider it as an issue, but I'm very protective of my brand mm -hmm. only because, you know, I have dealt with um, people, you know, just trying to come in and get, get gather information on the brand and, and, and what we do. And I tell people all the time, I have no problem with helping anybody. A lot of the bartender service, a lot of the companies here in Texas, I am associated with them, you know. So it's no, you know, negative vibe at all. Like I have them out to my annual event. But the overcoming part is when you get someone and they really just there to try to take away from what you're doing you know what i mean so you get those people that um is not adding the value to they're looking for things to um speak on negatively you know and it, this is just with anything you know it's always going to be someone or something out there some company person you know just whoever out there um just yeah not not being so friendly let me say it that way <laughs> so from what i know this is like this is what you're doing full time when you wake up it's signature sips when you go to sleep it's signature sips how long have you been doing this like solely doing signature sips and what what was that like deciding factor that i want to let go of you know my job to pursue my passion First, let me say, I hardly ever sleep. Oh, okay. I, I, my mind goes a lot. I don't get the type of sleep that I should. But my godmother said that millionaires hardly ever sleep. Right. Mm. <laughs> I'm okay. like, claim it. Okay. okay. So so um, I decided this year makes uh, six years that I've been full time just doing signature sips. You know, I retired. In my 30s. In my 30s. <laughs> and I've been doing it just full time um, ever since. And I never look back. Never look wow. back. And I think it was just walking. And everybody say this. And I know it may sound cliche. But it was just knowing that, hey, this is my time. And walking out there. And yes, it was on faith. Yes. You know. Um, and I, I just never withered away. God had had me, got me, and just keeping me. You know. So I just... I'm, I'm a strong believer, you know, that this is going to work. Like, this is yeah. for me. This is mine, you know. And I'm going to put everything I can into it. And that's the thing. Believing that it is what it's supposed to be and putting everything into it. Like you that's can't, it. You can't half do it. Because once you realize that this is the only way I'm going to eat, pay my bills, make sure my mortgage is done, pay my, then you really got to go at it. Like, you got to take care of your family. Take care of yourself. Absolutely. And that's how I look at it. I mean, this is it. This is it. And I love what I do. I love that waking really up different. doing what I do. And when you can wake up and do what you want to do and get paid for it, that's I think it. that this is a blessing. And I'm so humbled by it. You know, um, I was just telling uh, one of my colleagues today, you know, I think that everything has changed for me. Of course, as I got older, I appreciate people so much more. I appreciate things so much more that yeah. people just take time out and say, hey, I love what you do. I want to be a part. I, I like for you to craft for me. You know, it, it makes me feel so good. And I think, like I said, it's because it comes with a level of maturity. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, to understand and really appreciate the people that I work with. Well, that's a good thing. Absolutely. You're very talented at it. I'm going to say it. You're very good. Your gift, you have a gift. And that's the that's the difference between somebody else doing it and you. That's a gift. That's a God-given gift to be able to put a person's personality in a bottle. Yeah, uh, that's a gift. Is. Thank you so much. Yeah. I, I do. I do believe it is. Yeah. Because I'm not a drinker. So I do believe it is. And I love to see people say, oh, I'm so happy. It makes me happy. Yeah. You know what? I still have a bottle. 
And I think I told you this a couple months ago from the first event that I met you at. So when I was with B Magazine, mm -hmm. um, I think it had to be maybe 2010, 2011, something like that. Um, she had sponsored one of our B Pampered events. Mm -hmm. And I still have a bottle. From, uh, from the event. Because, you know, I like to say... I was like, Q will keep a bottle. He, I, he, stuff he, that he, means a lot to me, I keep it. And I still have it. He will and keep here it we are, over he, 10 years 10 later. 10 years later. I still got the bottle. He'll keep a bottle and give you the cheap shit. You understand? <laughs> That's what he do. Because he ain't going to open it. And he ain't going to share it with you. So he, nobody's going to get it. You know what? This year I might change. <laughs> See that? Girl, it's, not, it's not the truth. <laughs> you know some of some of the events that i have sponsored in the past a lot of the um families will say well we just keep these bottles as souvenir bottles yeah. you know we just keep them i'm like 10 years you keep the same I don't, 10 years you keep the same <laughs> bottle. <laughs> yeah. so yeah it's flattering it's it flattering <laughs> so what's next for signature sips what's next for you like, what can we expect? Well, it's so much good stuff happening right now. We are partnering with so many wonderful people. Q, as you know, we have some connections that's um, coming up the pipeline and not down the pipeline. They come yeah. up. <laughs> like, what's going to happen? Um, and we are partnering with a lot of different people, um, in this beverage, with this beverage industry, just um, creating like we did for T. Marie um, brands that they thought, you know, that they couldn't have. Because if you go to someone else that's on a higher caliber mm -hmm. than us, you have to come with eight, nine, ten grand to even mm -hmm. step in the room to talk about crafting or creating your beverage. Mm -hmm. Okay, so. Uh, we have opened doors for people that can see that same result, if not even better, mm -hmm. you know, at a rate that they could afford, you know, because it's, 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 it's room for everybody, yeah. you know. So we're partnering with, with some people. That's what's coming up the pipeline. And we also are still open to opportunities for people that want to get in the beverage industry, either as a brand ambassador or a brand influencer. So we are still open to those uh, ideas as well. Nice. Absolutely. Might need to be an influencer around here. <laughs> oh, girl. You influencer and an ambassador of your own. Uh, I know I am. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you can do it all. <laughs> Absolutely. Yes. Well, this has been, I'm so, I'm so excited. I'm proud of you. Yeah. I'm very proud of you for just stepping out and doing it and not just doing it, but doing it big, having the faith to do it having the talent to do it and, and just doing it. So I I heard I know you got to be going up. So I'm gonna be sitting up there watching for you. <laughs> yeah. I yeah. accept that. Don't forget to love people still remember I'm still here now. I'm never gonna do that. <laughs> I'm never gonna do that. And they say never say never. Okay. But but I, I'm gonna still be that same person because you know what goes up come down. Absolutely, all the time. <laughs> all the time. Yeah, so you got to humble yourself. Yeah. Now Absolutely. We have a, a conversation, like some sort of party when she comes to town. We will. Like create some sort of signature conversation. What type to of do? Event situation. I know she we'll comes for right there. We know yeah. she comes for something else, but we're going to have to bring her back. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Bring me back. Yes, I'm absolutely. We're going to do that thing. Yes. Yeah. So we definitely appreciate you. And this will not be the last time that you'll be on. Um, guys, make sure you guys are following Signature Sips. She is officially a part of the Live with T. Marie and Q family. Yes, indeed. Yeah. Hey. <laughs> and I want to come to that launch party. So I you better be here. I'm on my way down there. Okay, May 22nd. To. You know the date. May 22nd. It's on I a Saturday. Wait. So you'll be I here. Can. Yes, I cannot wait. Me I'm either. definitely going to try to make my way down there. They don't yeah. say try you coming down that, that hoe. Okay. <laughs> don't start that. Okay now. <laughs> okay. I love it. I love it. Thank you guys so much. I really appreciate it. Thank you. We appreciate you and, and have an amazing call because we know you're about to work on some more greatness. And we will be in touch soon.
Absolutely. Peace and blessings, God. Peace and blessings. Okay. Bye. He's like, me, yeah, I be having the hardest time trying to get off the damn live. <laughs> I'll be struggling to get off the live. I'll be like, I can't get off of this. But it's okay. You, you get it, though. I did. I finally get off of it. Yeah, I was like, I still be talking. Yeah, that was good. I'm excited. And it's so about amazing it. to always have people that, Man. you know, have been in a place that you are in or were in yeah. and are going somewhere, you know, that you can only imagine going. Like, who would have thought about getting into the beverage industry right. completely craft and beverages and you don't even drink like that is that's, that's a talent that's, that's a talent a and you don't even drink because I, I you know i've been thinking about that too i've definitely drunk all the things on product child trying to craft something for somebody. not necessarily because when you put your mind to it and i like to drink too but i got 90 bottles of liquor at the house if, I mean, if my house ever catches on fire it's going it's to because all it is is liquor man that's like accelerant I got 90 bottles too, and 89 of them are open. They are. Yeah. They are. They are open. But it's okay. <laughs> I'm a drinker. So All you gonna I get to share house. my drink. I can't wait for everybody All to you're going to have in here soon is, um, is Tasting Scott. That's it. Yeah, you might as well just get, no a, wine wine. get yeah. a wine refrigerator exactly. and just keep it. Tasting my Scott on all. Time. Your child was going for some uh, some wine over there. She was going for the bottle. <laughs> she wasn't going for the bottle. She didn't already cut some out. She wasn't going for the bottle, Lord. You got this on, honey? You need to, you sure? Yeah. Okay, we we just had a Oh, uh uh. Right, go back. <laughs> she going to interrupt the show for a child. Right, right. Don't you just love kids? Ooh. Ooh. No, nope, I don't. I love my children, and I love them because it's an obligation. But uh, I mean, I love them because I love them. But you know, it's times you want to kick them, and yeah. So you kick her, she gonna cuss at you. Ooh, <laughs> I just wish I could cuss. I think I had to be eight or nine. You said you was cussing for a long time. Like, when did you? Yeah, I think like I started cursing probably about eight or nine. In front of like, your parents? No. Okay. I was a. I was almost a teenager. I think I had to be made about fifteen, sixteen. Um, my parents caught me cussing. My father, he boom, right with that left hand okay. right in my chest. So he caved my little, my little bird. Right, right. Right. And then my mother, you know, she her thing was pinching me. <laughs> um, but yeah, I think my first cuss words that my mother allowed me to say was hell and bastard. Really? You as, just at the age of 16, yeah. I never could cuss in my house. Lord God, my mama have a breakdown. I really, I think I'll tell you, I don't even cuss like that in front of, I can't even say cuss words, and you know how I cuss. So for me not to be able to cuss, if, when I go to my parents, that's a level of respect that I, I, I don't cuss in front of her like See, that. but the thing is, and you know what, I know, understand that everybody was raised up differently in their households. Um, and some people view things as respect, they view it as disrespect, but do you really feel like cursing in front of your parents is disrespectful? I do, because I think that's something uh, you, you get to do as an adult. I mean, you can find ways of expressing yourself without curse words. That's what we do as, as, as an adult. And we do that because it's, it sounds good. It's more expressive. It feels, to me, it feels good. Like it's a release. I, I, I love to cuss. I'm just not going to tell y'all no lies. It just sounds like I get it out better. But as a child, I think there's a place for everything. There, we need to understand there are levels to all things. Too many times we want to start letting kids do stuff earlier and earlier as time goes by because that's what we do or they should be able to express freedom. But after a while, they're not going to have any boundaries and it's going to be no points. They're not going to know where childhood ends and adult begins. You know, it, so, but if you're a 35 year old woman cursing, having a conversation with your parent and a cuss word slip by, are you gonna feel like a child? I don't do it. I don't do it because I think I again it's a level of respect. I think it's my parent. I'm I, I'm not gonna cuss. It's just like I'm not gonna cuss in, in the presence of certain other people. I just think that's a that's an environment. I only cuss around people that I love. Like y'all, or, or you know, my so you friends. Love your I love my parents, but there's a whole other level of love that's different. I'm not gonna cuss in front of my parents. I'm not gonna cuss in front of my boss. You're not either. This is gonna be people Who's you're not? you're not gonna cuss in front of your boss. 
You gonna cuss? You gonna you okay? Let's just say I I'm, have. We're having a conversation. She does. Oh, we all so y'all do. do. When that when that door is closed and nobody's in there, it's fuck, bitch. Oh, damn. Well, that's the different boss. I'm talking about your regional, your corporate. You're not gonna do that. Like my 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 staff. And if she throw one out. I'm throwing one right back out. My out. staff cuss too. We cuss too. Like my staff, and they started cussing. You remember your staff? I do. Hi, you guys. <laughs> 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 you forgot. Deidre, I, I see you on here May 22nd. We'll see you uh, at Team Marie. So better be there. Uh, beautiful I'm, struggle. I'm April. pulling up on you. We we'll need you to hold Team Marie's hair she, and your arm um, and your. She won't be able to come because um, her grand opening is the very next day. So we might. No, I'm saying we need to hold some of that hair in the beautiful struggles um, supply store. Oh, yeah. We need to fly up there the next day to do her grand opening. She said she wanted to have some bottles for the. Oh, no. Let me see what. Um, we need to fly up there the next day so we can go up there for the grand opening on Do Sunday. Spirit fly up there? Because, look, they probably got a $15 flight. Well, we're going to have Atlanta to take it to So we might need to go up there because that's what I was no, thinking. No, real shit. I'm no, right no, now. I'm serious. Uh, we'll take a hey, flight. Bro, I'm looking right now. Yep, we'll take a flight up you there. You pick us up. Some of us send somebody from the airport or we'll have to Uber or something. But, yep, so we'll probably go there. But we want you guys to come. No, not yet. So well, maybe no, this one has a connection. Uh, we ain't doing no connections now. We need something straightforward. But please, you guys, please uh, save the date now. The date is set. The date is May 22nd. That is on a Saturday. It starts at 7 o'clock. We already know all of this. All we need you to do is show up with uh, with some money. to, to Cash, cash, cash and, dollar cause, bills. Because the wine is going to be available that day on the spot. Hey, okay. April, let me borrow $153. Oh, is that what the fuck? No, really, and that's on Delta. Oh, I didn't do that. So if we go, we can stay by maybe the next day. Yeah, we got to stay. Far the drive. Oh, that's too far, because to go to my house, it's, it's six, six and a half hours, and St. Louis is four more hours from my house. So it's about eight, well, maybe, depending on the April, route. you know, how many hours is St. Louis from Atlanta? Is it nine it's or under nine, we, hey. It's we like, uh, we, I ain't driving you. Okay, Real we life. can take baby Ben's, but baby Ben's mama ain't driving. Period. Yeah, we need to figure that. Right, so we can get in baby Ben's, and mama gonna sit on that side, and we gonna hit the highway and be there for the grand opening. We gonna be drunk as I'll get out because we gonna be. Amy said eight hours. Oh, baby, we are gonna be drunk. Well, we get in trouble. We got a case of uh, wine in the trunk. Mm -hmm. it, is that considered like trafficking across no, state lines? No, no, because it's ours. I mean, we, it ain't like we're taking it to sale. Ours, my name on it too. Well, it's my. You don't put my name on it. All. <laughs> <laughs> it'll be there for us, so it'll it'd be like it belongs to us. You can take as many cases to belong to you for whatever. Mm, okay. Yeah. Well, we gonna have to consider that. Yeah, we might. If, if Q drives, it's a done deal. If you got an extra bedroom, we're gonna do something. If Q drives. Or we can get a flight. Keyshawn, you bet. Keyshawn, let me tell you something. You need to be here too on May 22nd. It's a short flight from New York to Atlanta. You need to come anyway. Two and a half anyway. hours. Very short. You need to come anyway. So you need to be here. So get your butt on down here. Y'all need to have some Hold conversation. We need to have some conversation while you're here. So come on, Keyshawn. Get on the, get on the plane. Let's fly. Hi, I, I. Oh, she said her points can get us a hotel. Oh, can we get a jacuzzi uh, uh, in the room? Uh, uh, no. Oh, that's the motel. We ain't need no jacuzzi nowhere. Who don't? You. So the rest smell like boiled soup. We don't need no <laughs> As long as I take a shower before it, then they're gonna film that we at the top. Ugh. We gonna, anyway, April, we gonna, we we'll gonna be there. We, we gonna be there. We, we coming. Yeah, we, we coming. Maybe Keyshawn can drive. You know, that's a driver. We gonna, we gonna, we'll be there. We gonna yeah, figure it out. Oh. But anyway, you guys, please go ahead. Save the date. May, May 22nd. That is my actual birthday. The biggest gift you guys can give to me is to show up and support me by purchasing a bottle uh tasty Moscato. Now, you will the not be, will be there too. The candles will be there as well. And power sits will be there as well. So you can do you a whole package. Bundles. No, I better sell the hair bundles. You yeah, don't put the hair next to the candles. Because it's gonna be on fire. Just go to or the next to the wine. 
Everything needs to be on separate uh, separate. So models. I need booths set up everywhere. Yes. Around. I mean, you know, it's, you know, Dreamland is set up to make it do to whatever you gotta do. Everything. So whenever you're looking for a spot, a new spot, and a, a spot, spot, spot in Atlanta to whatever event you want to host, he Raheem can turn it into whatever you dream of, and that's why it's called Dreamland. So if you're looking for an event space, that's your space to. So go ahead and book that. And if you guys are not familiar with Raheem, Raheem Brazil is one of our friends. He's been on the show before um, on the Dream Land Studios, um, Dream House Productions. He's an artist. He's a little bit of everything. And you can also catch him on the BLK Lunch and Learn this Saturday That's right. um, from 1 to 2.30 p.m. You can also catch our lovely friend April Swabby. She's going to be um, here. Beautiful struggle love. She's in um, here in our Instagram. Yep. Um, you can also catch Trina Braxton, Israel Wright, Marcus, um, the cleaning guru. guru. Mm-hmm. Um, hold on, did I miss a woman? Hold up, I got April. Oh, Miss Cream. How can I forget Cream? Oh, you Cream. Yes. Oh, that's you. I know she is. She's gonna come, but it's gonna be um, an awesome event. The mm-hmm. conversation—it's a virtual event, so you guys can log on, and I'm gonna go ahead and put the website in there so that you guys can RSVP. Um, but the conversation is gonna be how to um, how to be a black-owned business during you know during all of these times. How did people survive being black-owned businesses mm-hmm. during pandemic? Because a lot of people ended up starting businesses right this was, this was such an opportunity for so many people to open themselves up to new ideas i mean there was money available that, that had not been available there was opportunities available there, there was time there was time That's available. The major there was thing. all types of things available there was spots that were priced different because it was the pandemic i mean there were opportunities after opportunities for you to get in and take your space in the business world. So I hope you guys take advantage of that or have taken advantage of it or let this panel show you how to continue or begin to take advantage of it because these people are successful in their own right, right? I'm sorry, and they've done some amazing things. So if you missed this panel, you are missing out on an opportunity to grow your business and take your business to a whole other level. So don't miss out on this, guys, on Saturday, uh, April 3rd. So please yes, How to navigate being a black entrepreneur in 2021. That's the official title. I'm going to um, take to look it up. I did. How, my own event. Um, and then I'm also planning, I'm planning the next one right now. Like, I want to be ahead of the game um, because there are a lot of things that I see out here and there are conversations that I want to have that I feel like we need to have. And the other one is going to be based around community. Yeah. You know, being the change you want to see. And it's so many people that excuse me, we're connected with or we're familiar with that have, you know, gotten out here gotten their hands wet yeah. and, and done so many things. Quite a few of them have been on the show. Like, I've been seeing over the last couple of weeks somebody that I went to preschool with. Preschool is now running for mayor for the city of Cleveland. Oh, what the fuck is going And you, Yes. And, you know, just seeing stuff like that, like, I love it. So well, I love seeing the younger people step up and take their place in the world politically, in the community, because that's what it's going to take for us to have change anyway. Mm-hmm. These young minds are going to have to be what changed the world because they are the ones who have the most diversity. So many of us who are older, stuck in our ways, who can't see past what we think is supposed to happen or certain roles that we think are supposed to take place we can't see behind it and it's not diversity in terms of like race or color no but it's the experiences the things that they've experienced and been um exposed to you know they they absolutely are like i remember my cousin she's 26 now so she's like eight years younger than me um they were learning computers and computer literacy Mm -hmm. in the first grade Mm -hmm. (laughs) <laughs> um, <laughs> yeah, and, and those are things that we weren't learning. We were learning cursing. They don't learn cursing. No you don't do cursing. So it's like as the years progress, they're learning different things. And I would love to see in about five years a history book and see mm. if the history books are still talking about uh, uh, Paul Revere and how they was flashing bombs all in the air and all that other type of stuff. Or are they going to be talking about what's been going on in the world? Are they going to talk about 
I don't remember. Because <laughs> I was like, wait, last some wood in there? Some bones? Power the beer crossed the, in there. the power beer oh, crossed, the, crossed the river of Jordan. No! <laughs> Hell no. Go power beer. Just. That's Jeep. Well, Jesus did cross the river. So that's the Bible people who crossed the river of Jordan, but Paul Revere crossed the river something. That's a little rhyme that we learned in school, but anyway. Oh, let me tell you what, speaking of history, let me tell you. I made you, you a steak. <laughs> <laughs> let me tell you what Q just learned today, guys. Ask Q what he just learned today. That that song by, um, it was Guy. Guy. It was a song about side piece. You can have a piece of my love. I thought it was just two single people that was like, look, I want you, and you can get a little bit of what you want. But today, I found out that that song was about a side piece. Yeah, so. And the lyrics go. Baby, you can't have a You can't. Me. Count all up. You got to <laughs> okay, okay. You can't. I always thought it said you can have all of me. But I was wrong. Go ahead. Because I'm not totally free. That means that I'm in a relationship with somebody else. I did not realize that either. Go ahead. I can't tell you everything that's going on. Because I got shit going on up in my household that you can't know right now because you don't hold that position. Keep going. There's a few things in my past that cannot be explained. I got married and I don't want to tell you about it. <laughs> I'm asking you, baby, be with me for a little while. Just let me escape this life for a little bit, baby. Please hush. And don't you open your damn mouth. No questions asked. Get up and leave and don't ask me nothing else. No, what's he telling? Lay back and relax. I'm going to ask no questions before we get it off. Gotcha. Take off your shoes. Self-explanatory. Let your pretty hair down. She work in an office, so she got a ponytail on her. Okay, go ahead. What's that to put your pretty hair down? All the pretty hair is doing, but anyway, Q just realized that people... That is a... So if, if, you, if you don't remember, listen to this part. Go to the... In the beginning, he goes, you can have a piece of my love. You know what he said underneath? Dumb bitch. Play it! <laughs> Look up the lyric. Oh, he didn't oh, know. oh, oh you it, lying. No, he said, you can have a piece of my love. It's waiting for you. Oh, hell no. Baby, it's true. Did he do it again? You can have a piece of my love. Dumb bitch. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, I'm not playing it loud. Oh, no, I want you to Google the lyrics. Where my phone? It's right here. Oh, let me Google the lyrics. Facebook and Instagram, we do not own the right to these songs. Okay, he played it. Oh, and you know they play, um, they got the lyrics. Okay, they play. Okay, okay. Where is it? Hey, huh? Where is it? Spotify, <laughs> title, 
one of the people, and y'all listen to this song and let us know what y'all think. Make sure y'all comment when we post the video. Yes. Afterwards, comment and let us know um, what y'all find out. We always appreciate you guys for tuning in, joining the conversation and having fun and laughing and joining us from wherever it is you may be. Yes. Um, we will be back next week. Um, our special guest, um, we pull everybody out. Gary L. Gray. You don't remember him. But Gary played little um, Nelson in the Cosby show. He was one of the oldest daughter, Sandra. He was one of the twins. Oh, shut your ass up! Well, he ain't a twin no more. I'm mean, he ain't a baby no more. He's a, He's a man grown in his oh. 30s um, and still out here, you know, pursuing his dream. So we're going to have a conversation with him and see what's been going on with him. Um, and over the next couple of weeks, we're going to be bringing you some amazing people. So... Yeah. Stay tuned. And tomorrow, tune in. Uh, I'm going to post, I'm going to give you guys some uh, things I want to talk about. I'm going to post a couple and see which ones you want to talk about. I definitely want to talk about what we didn't talk about today, uh, the video of Quavo and Sweetie, because I want to talk about where's the state of... You, that, who you have it on tomorrow, y'all definitely talk about We're going to talk about that. He's in the industry. And first of all, if y'all have seen the video, and you're... The guess? Stay guess? out of the elevator. Right. Okay, pretty much, because they was in the elevator, Solange was in the elevator. Um, People keep forgetting that there are cameras in the elevator. So was that boy that beat up his, the football player, the foot, yeah. uh, beat up his girlfriend. Y'all forget cameras are in the elevator, like they are. And I'm glad y'all forget, because y'all ass need to be exposed. And that's all. Yep. So who's um, against mine? Um, um, Not for that, too. Yes. A.K.A. We know him as Chris. Yes. Uh, a rapper, songwriter. Uh, excuse me, all that good stuff. We've been knowing him for quite a long time. And he actually just released a song um, a few weeks ago called Conversations. Yes! And we're going to have those conversations. Yes. Uh, the, you did a video about cheating. About cheating. Like, you know, my definition of cheating or what my, or what cheating is based off of my perspective. So you so, guys let me know what does cheating look like. I'm going to ask him, tell me what cheating is to you. Because some people feel like if you're single, it can't be cheating. But that's absolutely not the truth. And it's always going to be based on what your partner's understanding of this. Yep. So let's, let's, we'll talk about that tomorrow. It's tuning in at 8 o'clock for the conversation. Authentically speaking with T. Marie and Chris tomorrow. It's going to yes. be great. It's going to be great. So we'll talk about a bunch of things. If anything you want to ask or anything you want to talk about, please feel free to post that on my page. And we will talk about that tomorrow as well. Yes. Thank you guys for staying in tune with us. Um, I'm going to be doing Clubhouse. I'm trying to get consistent. I just got my time. Clubhouse. Yeah, Clubhouse. I ain't been on Clubhouse since Club, the week after Clubhouse People love came out. Clubhouse. And, and I, I told love, Q. I don't want to be on the phone. I can't be there that whole time either like that. I don't know how people do that all day long. But what I can talk about is Spotify is talking about purchasing Clubhouse. So you guys you know that it's a good idea when Spotify is talking about purchasing Clubhouse. But I'll be there. Um, probably not till April though, but maybe sooner. That's tomorrow. It's a good oh, point. But in March, it's fine. But that's a great opportunity for you guys to be able to voice your opinion and talk to me about what you feel about a certain topic. So we're going to take a topic uh, of the week and, and just go in on it because some of these things need to be explored. And I would love to be able to talk to you guys about it. Mm -hmm. So join my clubhouse community, the conversation, and let's have it. Yes, and until then, mm -hmm. we all love you. We appreciate you for being your continued support. Um, like I said, the BLK Lunch and Learn is coming up this Saturday, so make sure you um, reserve your spot, www.blklunchandlearn.info. Um, make sure you guys are tuned into the conversation, authentically speaking, with Team Marie. Tomorrow, possibly at 8 o'clock, maybe at 8.30. Just be by your phone yeah. and ready to log in and catch us back here next Wednesday. 8 o'clock to whenever we feel like going off air. And Make sure y'all get some of this good hair. <laughs> Listen, y'all. This beautiful hair collection is bomb. People have been looking for good hair. I'm trying to tell you it's bomb. Mackenzie, come show them your hair. Jordan about to come show y'all her uh, T. Marie hair. So, okay, well, give us right a nice there. little hair shake. So this is a whole unit. This is a wig, lace wig. Well, yes. it's, a, I don't know it's a wig. It's a lace. So yes. wig and you just pull it off. Yep. 
So you don't have to sew it in. So that don't look like your grandmama's uh, old shirt. It sure it does not. So this is part of the beautiful hair. She's a good mom. She's just. Isn't it? Yes. <laughs> so look at both cameras. This is how baby, honey. She's wearing that. Yes, she is. Yes, I know. So look, we, we, ain't, we didn't come to play. We came to slay. Hey. Okay, you're back. <laughs> We finna go. I done cooked for them. They finna eat good. Kira, I'm glad you ate well. And then yes, I'm, I'm off tomorrow, so I got work to do. Um, once again, we thank you guys for tuning in. We love you, and we will talk to you later. Bye, guys. Please be seeking downloaded.